join me for a walk as I talk a little bit about the downfall of Chantel Marie Foodie Beauty's YouTube channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about self-improvement, whether that's about relationships, diet, exercise, career, spirituality. Make sure you pound that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now this video is not a hate video about Chantel, so if it comes across as being mean or hateful, I have no intention of doing that whatsoever. I've unsubscribed to her recently just because of her content, but I've been watching her now for three years, and it's a good chance that I'll resubscribe. You know, a lot of people will rage unsubscribe and then resubscribe later. That's probably me. I was noticing on her social blade, she's losing hundreds if not thousands of subscribers. And she recently said on one of her live streams, you know, I don't care if people unsubscribe, you know, they do what they do, I do what I do, this is my content. And I respect her for that, I respect her opinion on that. Chantel, I want you to see more of the long-term picture and what your real fans, your true fans, who enjoy your content really want from you. And they don't want these live streams where you're constantly being annoyed and being upset with people on the side chat. Brandy, I don't even know, honestly, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to live do? my life how these a thousand subscribers want me to live? Some are being like trolls, but, but some are giving constructive criticism. And from my standpoint, it doesn't seem like that you're separating the two. You're lumping people in that has genuine concerns for you into the haters and the people that's on the Kiwi farms. A little bit more from why I unsubscribed. Her last two or three weeks, if not to a month, it's all live streams. It's like an hour, two, three hour live streams where she's just looking at her chat, she's cooking a little bit, she's putting on makeup. And so there's all this dead air with nothing going on. She may eat, whatever. She talks about this new man that she's with. Now some people say that this new man is fake, that she's making up this relationship. Maybe, maybe not, but I will say that her behavior and activity the last month would indicate that she is with somebody because I think that's one reason why she's neglecting making real uploaded videos. She's not making the time to make edits and actually creating good ideas and new videos like she has in the past. She has these live stream titles. Now it's like Beezin, Dinner, one word, one line photos, not caring about her thumbnails, not caring about her presentation. It's almost like she's given up in some kind of way. She had one video where it's entitled Dinner and it's just her face being blurred. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's self-aware. She knows what message that sends out that she's not caring about her content anymore. Ultimately, it's Emma saying, hey, I don't care about my subscribers. I'm not, I'm not caring about the people who've been with me for three to five years. I'm giving them quality content. But what got me to start watching Chantel was just her mukbangs. She would do fast food mukbangs. She was abusing food with those mukbangs, but at the same time, she gave quality content. She had very good points of things that was going on in her life. And I would vicariously enjoy those foods through her because I don't eat like that anymore. I've lost 120 pounds and I'll never go back to fast food. Not even for a quote unquote treat. As I watched her last live stream, you could look at the side chat and you could look at the comments and you could see people that I've been seeing there for three or four years unsubscribing. They're not happy. They don't like her attitude. They don't know. They don't like the direction that her channel is going. They feel like that she's losing respect, not only for them, but for herself. Like I was like with BB and I would be like naked in the room. If I had to go out to the bathroom, I would put clothes on. This all started live stream about a month ago when she was going on these dating sites and she was talking to these men. And she's talking about things that's not putting herself in a respectful light. She's also intentionally and maybe unintentionally given the hint that she would sleep with a guy on the very first date and that's okay and it's casual and everything. Listen, I'm no saint. I'm no saint. I've done far worse than you or anyone watching this has probably ever done. Chantel, you need to love yourself and you need to know that you're worthy. And I feel like that you've given up just because you've gotten so frustrated with your food addiction and I feel like that and I feel like that you're giving up hope. I'm sure you didn't watch my last video that I made a couple of months ago for you and it was about accountability and realizing that you could change your course and in that video I told you what I did and what I've been doing to lose 120 pounds and I feel like it's a good route for you to go on the plant paradox and to take certain foods out that will stop hijacking your brain. If you can't do that, if you have to get weight loss surgery, it's not the direction that I went, but even if you, even if you go the weight loss surgery route, that's okay, because Chantel, you need to do something. 
it's like hitting a cement wall going a million miles an hour like when you hit 40. When you're young, your body can take, can take abuse like that. You can take putting processed foods day in and day out into your body and you get by, you get by. But, but 40 and after, you start realizing the effects and then one morning you're gonna wake up and you're gonna barely feel your fingers just because of neuropathy. You're gonna be dizzy. You're gonna have bad things happen. You haven't seen anything until the problems start getting blown up fully. I don't wanna see that for you. I don't wanna see that for anybody. Your best videos I made, other than the mukbangs, is the ones where you do these timeline meals where, you're, where you have themes of like the roaring 20s, the 50s, the 60s, the Titanic. All those videos, those have 40, 50,000 views. And those videos will live on for years, I bet. All these videos that you're making now with these one-line titles, bees in and all this crap, one of these days you're gonna look at these, probably in the near future, and you're gonna realize that you're bleeding subscribers and you're gonna delete every single one of those streams. You're gonna leave, you're gonna delete every single one of those live streams. I see it right now. Now your live streams, they're not being taken over by fans and from your loyal viewers. They're being taken over by people that just want to pat on the back. Some are the ones that give you super chats, but you read their comments and it's like, oh Chantel, don't let the haters come after you. It's almost like they're trying to be a mod and they want you to pat them on the back and say, oh hey, you're a good person, you're a good person, you're good here. And it's like they're trying to get their self-esteem through Super Chats. By the way, if people don't know, when you donate Super Chats, Google, one of the biggest corporations in the world, gets 30% of those Super Chat. So if someone is donating $10 of the hard-earned money, three of those dollars go to Google. Chantel, you don't really need to be dating anybody right now in this mindset. You need to get somebody later on who will love you and appreciate you for you. Not because you're a big girl, not because you may have put out the first night. The mindset that you're in you want to attract someone that loves you for you. You may get someone that's going to use you and toss you to the side. You might get someone that's a feeder. We know what that is. That's someone that just wants to keep you fat. That someone that may want to keep you overweight because they want to control you and they don't want you to lose weight because they might think that they're not good enough and you'll dump them when you're done with them. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just telling you from the perspective of a fan and someone who's been watching. The way you talk about yourself now is not fair to you. I commented in the comment section a week ago saying, hey Chantel, maybe you should try doing HelloFresh and doing HelloFresh reviews. And I think you misunderstood that to saying, hey, HelloFresh could be your sponsor. But you politely said, no, HelloFresh doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm a mess. And so I could tell that you have low confidence in yourself now. I don't know, maybe you're assuming that men may not want you because of your personality, but you're putting off the wrong vibe. And you got to keep in mind, you have a lot of young people watching you, you know, in their late teens, early 20s. You got a lot of people, young people watching you, and you could be an influence on them in a bad way or a good way. I feel like you have a lot to offer them with life advice and be a good role model for them. When it comes to YouTube channels, consistency is very, very important. I can speak from experience. I could tell you about other creators who have 100, 200,000 subscribers, and they don't even get 100 or 200 views on the material now because they either went away for months or they haven't been consistent. And one person that comes to mind when I say that is Freely the Banana Girl. You know, she used to get hundreds of thousands of views and she even made a comment recently. She's like, you know, I wasn't consistent. She's not getting those views. She didn't stay consistent. She didn't stay loyal to the people who were watching her. She took them for granted. And she felt like that they would just always be there. And it doesn't matter what kind of cow dung that was thrown towards them, they would just eat it up. And it's just not gonna happen. You gotta understand, I know you're getting a lot of views, you're getting super chats, and you're getting a lot of views off of these videos the last month. But the ramification of that is that you're gonna lose a lot of your core audience who genuinely like you, and they just can't take it anymore. Like you change the theme, and you change your channel name like every other week. And then I see you gaslighting people in the side chat that will point out these inconsistencies. And what I mean by gaslighting is making the viewer or the person think that they're insane because you say one thing and they point out what you said and the inconsistency with that and then be like, what are you talking about? This is my channel. Of course I can do what, what I want to do with it. What are you talking about that I said that? When your channel has seed sold from a mukbang channel to a weight loss channel, to a mukbang channel, to a weight loss channel. And then when people point out the inconsistency, they say, well, you said this here. Oh, and, then, and, then you get, and then you get upset and angry at your viewer. 
From my personal opinion, what I think you should do now is focus on one to two great videos like you used to make on your channel every week and then focus on a way to start making yourself healthy. I know that's what you want. I know that you I know that you're tired. I know that you're tired of feeling this way and feeling unhealthy and feeling hopeless. I'm there. I've been there. I've been there, but I've been digging myself out of it and I feel like I got the tools now to do it. And that's what this channel is about. If you're still listening, my accountability video that I made for Chantel about a month or two ago is over here. I want to try to practice what I preach and be consistent on this channel regarding subjects about all things improvement, all things improvement. This is the Improvement Gnome, and I'll check you on the next one.